Hi guys, this is Cherie from Divine Visions. I'm bringing you your star sign reading for June. Um, I don't do this every month uh, only because of my health and it does take a lot to go through each sign. But I did feel um, that I wanted to do this this time and I want to look at the astrology reading cards today. Um, I'm not too familiar with them, but I'm going to use my intuition and look in the guidebook if I need to along the way. Now, what we're doing is we're looking at the planetary influences that may be, um, you know, some planetary influences that might be going on for you right now, where this might be in your house, um, you know, what house this may be happening for you and what we need to surrender also, because I'm using the surrender cards today. And we're also going to be looking at the zodiac sign cards. So this will be the star sign of another person, or perhaps it'll be the energy of this star sign that is significant to what you're coming into or what you're being guided to come into right now. I'm also going to be using the Queen of the Angels deck as well. Okay, guys, so I'm going to start as I normally do with Aries all the way through to Pisces. All right, Aries, let's have a look at your planet card. So let's have a look at where Aries is, um, what planet is influencing Aries right now. And this may is definitely not going to be in line with any charts that you might be looking at right now. Everybody's different, but this is just a reading to see what planet may be influencing you at this time. What lessons are perhaps coming through with this card for you? And this is Aries. Well, we've got Venus, the part of you that desires beauty, success, indulgence and valuables. Let's have a look at what part of the house this would be in for you. All right, what house is this for Aries? The 10th house, which is your achievements and status in the outside world. Now, this tells me already that we're looking at um, perhaps your how you perceive yourself to be, how you're presenting yourself to be through your career and achievements and your status, okay, through the outside world. What, val what values do you take with you in this right now? Now, let's have a look at the star sign associated with this for you. Or the energy for Aries. Well, we've got Pisces, which is this energy is wistful, endlessly loving, compassionate and forgiving. It confuses and softens resolve. This could be somebody that you're dealing with that is a Pisces, okay? There could be somebody that you're really moving forward with in life or maybe trying to put your best foot forward with. There may be a joint venture somewhere along the lines here as well, but it's definitely looking at your achievements, where you've come into the world, how you stand in the world, how you see yourself, what values you've brought through, how do others perceive you? And the energy also could be that you are coming into this flow of energy, like you're just flowing through your achievements right now. You've, you've really, you're standing strong in your power, okay? You're standing strong, you've come far. And the Pisces is... Um, I feel it can be somebody who's got a lot of depth to them as well, okay? But it can also be very um, fluid. It can be very fluid, as in just keep moving, going through. Sometimes it can be stagnant, but I don't feel like that for you guys this month. I feel like there's a lot of achievements being made, a lot of recognition and, and acknowledgements along the way. And maybe a Pisces has helped you get there as well. Now, let's have a look at the surrender card. What do you need to surrender at this time in your life? Uh, do I? Yes, I do want to do that. Okay, so it says surrender frustration. So frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath, center yourself and regroup so you may approach the situation more calmly. There may be some jealousy from other people because you have been so successful in life. It may also be that You've got to watch that your ego, because the Aries is very much about the I am ego, right? So it's just about making sure that this you don't get too carried away, all right, with the current of this um, success and achievement and goals. You need to be able to 
somehow come down to earth a little bit as well and kind of balance those energies out here. But it's not to say that you can't give yourself a pat on the back and be proud of who you are. Um, but there's definitely going to be, I feel, um, a very caring role that you're coming into right now. And it may be that you're frustrated because people do see you this way, maybe because you are so um, career driven or you're just driven to act, right? Action oriented, um, maybe that's because you're very, um, you know, you're always after what you want in life and you go for it, that other people look at you in a different light. They might think that you are just, um, you know, just trying to get the trophy kind of thing and, and not really um, see the meaning in it or enjoying the journey kind of thing. You just want to get to the end result. But, you know, I do feel like for you, you are valuing um, everything that you've achieved so far and you have a right to be proud. The surrendering frustration is just something you've got to come into right now. Regarding, um, I feel it's regarding other people and what they're doing and trying to bring you down. All right, Aries. Look at this, you're coming into a caring role. So heaven cares for me and I keep my heart open to caring about myself, others and the world. So by being able to go into this really strong, powerful, um, you know, position in your life to, to keep climbing up and going forward for what you want, you're going to come into this real caring, um, like want to be able to share with others what it is that you've achieved not just share the status of what you've achieved, you know, but you want to you want to share your knowledge, your resources, your money or whatever it is with family. Um, it feels to me that there is this very caring side to you that is um, because you've got the Pisces, which is very soft and like it's very soft. It's, it's that kind of um, it softens the intensity of what's going on around you right now. So, yes, you've got the confidence and the boldness to push forward and drive and the drive to succeed. You've also got this caring, loving energy coming through. Might be a Pisces that you're dealing with right now that you need to care for or that you're bringing in under your wing. Um, but there's surrendering frustrations around other people who have tried to bring you down in life. And you're trying to see it from a higher perspective right now of like a spiritual perspective of um, where they're at on their journey as well. Okay, so I hope that's helped you this month. Okay, Taurus. So we've got Taurus now to see what planetary influences are going on for you. Well, what lessons are you needing to learn at this time, Taurus? Whoop. This is for Taurus. Oh, Tau Taurus, you're going through some old wounds, okay? There's an old... Chiron is about the old wounds from the past. So your healing power, empathy, and ability to teach or learn remedies. Okay, so let's have a look at what house this might be affecting right now for you guys. Taurus. Wow, this is in your first house. It's about body image. It's how people see you. It's what people see and the impression you give, okay? I think this is what they call the, um, yeah, it's, it's the appearance, basically. It's how people see you, okay? I'm, sh I'm not sure because I don't know a lot about astrology as yet. I'm still learning it. Um, I think this might be connected to the rising sign, but don't quote me on it. Just look it up if you're not sure. <laughs> I'll have to look at look it up afterwards. But it is the appearance of how people perceive you to be. And so this is an interesting thing. I feel like Taurians at the moment are really going through some body image issues. There might be some wounds from the past of being uh, rejected or feeling like they're ugly or feeling like they don't have enough in life or that they're just not enough okay let's see what star sign this might have to do with or the energy coming through for Taurians. <clears throat> gemini this is interesting so you could be a gemini rising as well as or a taurus rising or it just could be your sun sign whatever it is it doesn't really matter as long as this is um, making sense to you okay so the energy is communicative mischie mischievous lively witty and informative stimulating exchange is possible this could be a gemini that you're dealing with that has hurt you in life could be a significant gemini or somebody very strong with um what am i saying that has uh, gemini very strong in their charts 
And what I feel is that somebody along the line here, along the way, has been quite um, callous, I guess the word is I'm getting, with um, Taurus. There's been some, there's some childhood wounds here, okay, with Chiron coming through about how Taurians are able to present themselves to the world. They don't feel they can emerge at the moment. A lot, of, a lot of Taurians might be hiding away, could have something to do with a Gemini um, who may have said something because this is the air sign and they are very communicative. They, they just um, very social. All right. Geminis are very social beings. And it could be that somebody has said something to really affect how Taurians see themselves and how the rest of the world is seeing themselves as well. Um, but it also could be that Taurians need to learn how to express themselves. They do rule the throat. So Gemini's being communicative, it might mean that Taurians are still at the moment learning to express and assert themselves as well. Now, what do you need to surrender? What do Taurians need to surrender at this time, please? Okay, so we've got surrender stress. Take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Because Taurians are the earth sign. They're very much in their physical body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. So a lot of them are pushing down this pain. That's what Taurians do. But you are being um, advised to speak about it. Speak about your feelings or speak about your worries or your anxieties um, about you know, how you feel about yourself, your health, your whatever it might be, okay, and surrender that stress. So I look forward to connecting with you next time. Um, actually, sorry, <laughs> I've just realized I'm going to do the Queen of Angels card. Oh, one flew out. Hang on. I just completely forgot what I was doing just then. I'm sorry, I went blank. But let's have a look. I'm going to have a look for Taurus, the Queen of Angels for Taurus, because I do like to pick one out. This is the feminine energy, guys. Taurians, whether you're a female or male, the feminine side of you is being perhaps neglected right now. So it's allowing your feminine nature to shine brightly as a valuable part of your identity. A lot of the feminines, especially, well, the feminine, whether you're female or male, as I'm saying, a lot of the feminine aspects of a person um, are going to really suffer at this time because this person's been pushing down the pain and hasn't come into this um, tenderness that they need to, okay? So it does feel that you can be gentle and powerful. The Taur This particular Taurus that I'm tuning into is just used to getting stuff done. They'll push it all down and just get things done, right? So this is what's happening here. But in the, in, at the meantime, I mean, in the meantime, they're looking at themselves and thinking, who am I? Who really am I, you know? who? What face am I going to show to the world today? Because... You've learned to put on many masks over time, I feel, because of the pain. Okay, so it's just saying that you're coming into your tenderness, you're coming into your feminine energy, that's what you're guided to do, and speak, all right, speak about the pain, speak about how you feel about yourself, even go and see a counsellor if you need to, um, write a journal, whatever you need to, to get that stress out, okay? So I really hope that's helped you today. Hi, Gemini, and happy birthday, Gemini. So we're going to be looking at the planetary cards to see the influence or the main lesson that Geminis may need to learn at this time. Gemini. Wow, your own planet, Gemini. Mercury, how you think, communicate, write, talk, and travel. So you're in your element. All right, that's awesome. So let's see what house this may be affecting for you right now. Or influencing. Wow, the 12th house. This is the area of your life that is overwhelming. You yield to a greater cause or power. This is just so spiritual. Look at that beautiful picture. This looks like a portal to me. So let's have a look further at what sign this may be um, affecting or, or somebody who may be significant in your life with this star sign or it may be the energy you're coming into. We'll just have a look. Gemini. Gemini. 
Wow. Okay. So this is with the Virgo. So the energy around you is dutiful, hesitant, and humble with a discriminating, diligent, and painstaking air. This is what Virgos are all about. Okay. This is very interesting. I'm going to have a look at this card here. So how you think, communicate, write, talk, and travel. With this is the area of your life that is overwhelming. You yield. I really feel you guys are moving into a new path when it comes to your career. And it has to do with perhaps um, public speaking. That's what I'm feeling with this. It feels like there's just definitely a career change, but it's a spiritual career change. That's what I'm feeling with this. Now, this is really amazing to me because the Virgo energy is the energy around you, which is dutiful, which is this one is more or less saying, okay, the universe is going to come in and perhaps uh, bring in something um, that is of a higher spiritual purpose, okay? You're coming into a, a not just the uh, Mercury air, you know, it's like an air um, sign here, the Gemini, being really, um, well, being a Gemini, you're very sociable, you're very um, quick-witted, all those kinds of things. Um, but instead of just sort of, because Geminis can move from one thing to another quite fast or they multitask, and this is saying, okay, it's time to get real with something. There's something we need you to focus on now that's of a higher purpose now and it's got to be done like it's got to be um like virgos as we see here the energy around you is dutiful hesitant and humble but it's diligent and it's it keeps to it it's like a perfectionist almost keeping to the same project or the same goal and that's what your lesson is at the moment is to keep your focus on something i feel that is um, going to be well, well worth worked on, okay? Well worth um, waiting for, but well worth um, it in the long run. To You know, you need to work at it. And here is the surrender cards. I want to see what you need to surrender at this time for Gemini, please. Okay. Surrender to prayer. Because it is out of your hands. This is the spiritual path, okay? The universe is coming in, perhaps with some divine intervention. This could be in the form of a miracle as well because of your hard work. You might even have a Virgo coming in to help you with this stuff that you may not necessarily be able to ground yourself, okay? So this is really looking important here. It looks like some of you are going to be possibly writing a book um, or publishing something that's going to be of great value for a greater cause for people around you, okay? It can help others um, because the Virgo is very much about service. So what we've got is surrender to prayer. Give yourself over completely to prayer. When you pray from your heart, you will be heard throughout the universe and answers and support will arrive because some of you are really freaking out like you don't think your prayers are being heard or some of you just take it into your own hands and think you can deal with it. But there is something much bigger than you going on here, okay? Um, that I feel, well, these cards, that I feel that um, you do need that outside help with. I definitely see a career change for some of you. It's going to be looking really amazing. Like some of you are thinking, should I, should I, should I or shouldn't I jump into this project? And it's like, well, hell yes. Let's have a look at the Queen of Angels. What guidance are you being given around this? Well, action. Today I take action related to the priorities that I have previously put off. It's about that focus. And it's around your home as well. So I trust and follow my divine guidance about my home. Some of you might be relocating because of this highest purpose, okay? Because of this, all these changes coming in for you. Um, which Geminis don't normally mind change. They usually adapt quite well to change. Um, but some things might be way out of your hands at the moment and that could leave you a little bit unsettled. But the Virgo energy is going to help ground you and help you keep focused, okay, guys? So I really hope that's helped you. Hello, Cancer, and happy birthday. We're going to be looking at the planetary influences for you this month or the lesson you need to learn at this time. Wow, Cancer. So we've got the moon here, which I feel, I think that's your 
planet anyway. So the, your unconscious, sensitive inner emotions and responses. So you're in your element, guys. There's an emotional time going on here right now. Let's see what house this may be affecting right now for you or influencing. Wow. Oh my God. This is your own, your home and the roots of your, of your being. This is amazing. So this is emotions around the home. This is cycles around the home for you right now, family and the home. Wowza. Let's have a look at the star sign that may be associated th uh, around this for you. It might be sim someone significant, or it may just be the energies of the star sign that we need to come into, but let's have a look. This is for Cancer. Wow, you've got a Scorpio here. So this could be very significant to some of you dealing with a Scorpio. In a, could be around the home, could be a partner, could be a child, could be anybody. This energy is intense, masterful, thoughtful, and magnetically charming, but also secretive and possessive. <laughs> so this could be the energy you're coming into around your home right now where there might be this feeling of being a little bit secretive, um, hiding away within your home right now as you go through some emotional cycles within. We've got the new moon and also a full moon in this card here, so that's interesting. New, uh, that's endings and beginnings right there. Oh, we've also got this one, the crescent moon here too. So what I see, the fourth house, the moon, the Scorpio energy, because it's all water signs, my God, there's a lot of emotions going on here. Um, you've got Cancer, you've got Scorpio. So it's around security. It's about feeling secure. Um, but it's also... Uh, there's a lot of changes going on around the internal side of things here. It's even within your own self, let alone your own house. Okay? Because it could be your physical home, but it's also the roots of your being. So what I see is that with this, there's a lot of internal changes going on, but you're not necessarily telling anybody about it. Yeah, it's interesting. Let's see what you need to surrender right now, Cancer. Well, that came flying out. Surrender denial. Accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. Now that might relate to some of you because the, the moon can represent things that are hidden from us. Okay, so there might be some things. That, wow, look at this, guys. Surrender your addictions, whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, or sex, which is the Scorpio sex, right? Or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. Now, this is going to resonate with some of you, but not all of you. Some of you are hiding away at night in your homes. Um, I don't know why I'm saying night time, but I feel like it's at night. Drinking. There might be some issue with drinking for some of you um, or some other addiction that might be a secret from other people, okay? It's about surrendering denial, knowing that there's internal changes needed that you don't have to hide away and do this anymore. Um, it's just a, a certain aspect of Cancerians right now going through some kind of... It's their only way to deal with things, okay? It's just, it's just a way of to deal with something. It could be a grief situation. It could be something that you're going through. Um, that you just feel ashamed of, that you don't want many people to know about. Um, but there's definitely some kind of transformation, I feel, with Scorpio's energy here as well because you do have the ability, I feel, to transform it and go through it. But it is intense, okay? Scorpio energy is intense. So this is an intense situation. It could be also that some of you are in a relationship with a Scorpio where it is really changing a lot of stuff internally within you and it's becoming almost like an addict an addict uh, am i saying an addiction <laughs> to this person i can't bloody talk um to an addiction to this person now let's see what the queen of angels queen of angels says as a guidance for this Yeah, be strong, okay? So it says, I pull myself up and do what needs to be done. 
I feel like you guys are going to do this. I do feel like it's just, once again, with the moon, a cycle. It's just a cycle you're going through, okay, guys? Um, I really do feel that you're going to be okay. And, you know, your home is your sanctuary. Um, but I do feel like this is not something you're proud of. So it will change in time and you can only do it. And I do feel like it's just a phase and you'll be able to get through it. I hope that's helped you. Okay, this is for Leo. Let's have a look at your planetary influences, Leo, at this time or what lesson you may need to learn. Leo. Okay, we've got Neptune, your fantasies, yearnings, longings and potential for illusion. Because a lot of you are very passionate and you're very much about getting out there in the world, you know, and you might bring your fantasies to fruition. Let's have a look at what's going on here for you. It's about being in your dream state. Let's have a look at what house this is influencing right now for you guys. Leo. This is the 10th house, guys. This is your achievements and status in the outside world. Now, some of you may be fantasizing about coming to this completion in your life. You might still be climbing up the ladder, so to speak, to get to this point. So a lot of you are still longing, right, for this potential, okay, um, and yearning for this particular status in life to be, because you guys, you're the Leo, you know, you're the... You're the um, Leo the lion, the courageous one, the one that gets out there and is bold, you know. So I feel like for you guys, it's really this strong fantasy of making it big in the world and shining in your light. I mean, attention seekers, that's what Leos can be. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. I'm saying it in a good way that you guys actually bring attention to yourselves. You know, this is what it's all about. You shine your light. A lot of Leos that I've met actually have a glow to them they're really happy they seem to have this glow to their face and everything it's just amazing so they're probably naturally born um you know um artists or talents out there they're meant to get out there now let's see also what star sign might be significantly influencing you in your life this could be another person could be another person or it may just be the energy around you uh, with this Sorry, wrong one. Okay, guys, this is Capricorn. It's a very grounding energy. The energy around you is serious, materialistic, and hardworking. It bestow, bestows, I can never get that right word right, shrewdness and cautious ambition. This is amazing because you guys usually just, you know, impulsive, impulsively jump in and go, just get out there and do it. You know, you've got this pride, you've got this confidence. It's just amazing. You're in this fantasy world right now. And you're really, there's something you might be really focusing on to get to the top right now. You're working hard and steady, okay? This is what Capricorn's about is an earth sign. It's, it's slow and steady. And slow and steady wins the race, right? So this is what's going on here. It might be that you're dealing with a Capricorn. Maybe somebody is in your life helping you right now to maybe build your career. Capricorns are all about career, investments, money, that kind of thing as well. They love their money. And so it could be that you're really looking at this as a very long-term commitment. You know, it's something that you're really... Um, some of you may not want to. Some of you may not want to have to do all this hard work. It might mean that some of you just have this fantasy of just making it to the top, just somehow making it, um, you know, whether it be being famous, you know, if someone just suddenly finds you along the way, um, suddenly coming into money and becoming rich and famous or whatever it might be. Something about success right now. Um, but... That's just one aspect of looking at this. I really do feel for the majority of you that there is something that you are extremely passionate about. You have a sole purpose to do here. It's like your mission in life. And you have this fantasy about amazing things that you can create and bring to the world. Okay, It could be even publishing a book. It could be getting out there into the, um, like, into the media, into, onto the internet, onto the TV, whatever it is. There's something there regarding that. Um, being in the limelight. Now let's have a look at what you need to surrender at this time. Let's 
surrender your addiction. So whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, could be overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. Maybe you might be obsessing too much in this fantasy about the result rather than the journey and the process of getting to that you know, result. I mean, we always say manifest things by seeing the end result, but sometimes our expectations are just too um full on you know and then we become um what's the word defeated like we feel defeated because it's a long haul to get there you know it's a long road and sometimes it's hard work and it's tough so it could be that you're overthinking staying too much in that um fantasy land about this you need to also put in all this hard work as well rather than daydreaming too much now let's have a look at what queen of angels says for your guidance well, faith. I have faith in God to heal this situation. There's something here. Now, some of you may have felt that you were at this point of achieving so much and then bang, something happened in your life and you lost everything and had to start again. That's where this faith has to come into it. Okay, guys? One. Where am I? <clears throat> Sobriety. Okay, some of you might be drinking we've got surrender your addictions and sobriety together oh wow okay so there might be some drinking issues but i clear my mind or no it says my mind my clear mind is easily able to focus and concentrate and that's with the capricorn energy because capricorn's very grounded and focused and determined and persistent okay so that's what this is about it's about being able to with neptune too it doesn't surprise me if there is drinking involved it's uh very much to do with pisces and um that fantasy dreamland kind of thing and illusions illusions right could also be very much to do with drinking so that's just for some of you who are drinking um but it could also be obviously other kinds of addictions we all have something that we uh struggle with in life now there's just something you're doing, if you're not a drinker, there's something you're doing that it is taking over your mind, this fantasy, this illusion. Um, and it, I feel like it's something where you're starting to really obsess over it and wonder if you'll get there, okay? Um, some of you may not know how to put the hard work in, um, but it's just saying you need to have a clear mind to be able to do this. So clear your mind and have faith, guys, okay? Because you can achieve what you need with the hard work, of course, um, and yeah, it's, it's achievable for you. Okay. So I hope that's helped. Hi Virgo. Let's have a look at your, uh, lessons here or your planetary influences at this time for Virgo. Wow. We've got the moon for you guys at this stage. So there's a lot of cycles going on internally, internal stuff going on. You're unconscious, sensitive, in emo emotions and responses right now. Something's going on internally. Let's have a look at what house this is affecting for you. Okay, for Virgo. All right, it's the third house here, guys. So it's your potential to learn something and your local neighborhood. This can be local travel. It can be your, your local social networking going on. Um, there's something within your local um, neighborhood right now. Okay, this is what I'm seeing here. I'm just going to have a look further at what this is about. This could have something to do with a particular star sign. Or it may be like a significant somebody or it may be... Um, the energy that you're coming into right now around you. Okay, this is Libra. So this is very much around relationships, partnerships. The energy is diplomatic and gracious. It seeks harmony and balance in relationships. So in your local neighborhood right now, or just, you know, because it very much is about your, uh, could even be siblings, that kind of thing as well. There can be um, the need to really 
uh, have balanced and harmonious relationships with your siblings, your family, that kind of thing as well. But it's more around the local neighbourhood kind of stuff going on here. What I see with the moon is that there's a lot of emotion going on regarding maybe there's even a partnership that started for you at this stage, okay? Maybe you're not telling a lot of people because it might be new, might be someone who lives very locally to you. Um, that's something that's coming up here as well very strongly, that there could be someone who's uh, either sharing your own house with you or there's somebody not far from you who could even be a Libra. Um, but if not, it's just telling us about the energy of this, okay? There's balance, there's harmony, trying to keep this, um, yeah, um, there's going to be some diplomacy in this for some reason. I'm seeing like emails going back and forth. There is communication um, as well. So it does feel to me that this is not necessarily something that is, um, may not be a secret as such, but it's ne definitely not out in the open yet. So that only is going to apply for some of you. For others, there is just there's um, the need to balance relationships, possibly workplace relationships, that kind of thing. Um, there may be something underlying, undergoing within you internally right now as well that might um, be a letter that you want to write to somebody um, to clear the air, to bring in balance and uh, harmony in a relationship as well, okay? So there's so many ways of looking at this for Virgos this time round. One, there is perhaps somebody in the local area that lives not far from you that you're um, starting a relationship with or it could be an affair of some sort that's kind of behind the scenes. There is another aspect that, okay, some of you might be emailing, looking at short courses that you want to do, uh, could be working out. Um, it could even be in the legal department, okay, something that you want to sort out in the legal department here. Um, and it's not yet known to the other party. Um, also, there could be a letter or an email or some kind of communication being sent to find peace in a situation with somebody. Okay, that's what I'm saying here. What do you need to surrender right now? For Virgo. Well, look at this. Surrender negative thinking. You have control over your thoughts. When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmations. Because I'm telling you, Virgo, if you're writing up something like an email, you are going to go over it and over it. You will only probably do one paragraph and then leave it and then come back to it and go over it and over it again. It's like you analyze, you overanalyze. And in this time of the moon, you are overanalyzing, you're internally um, freaking out, going through all this negative thinking at the moment. So yes, on one hand, some people are starting something. On the on the bigger side of it though, what I see here is that somebody, the Virgo, I'm talking about you, is um, analyzing something too much. You're over analyzing something. Okay, to do with a relationship, to do with balance, to be the peacemaker, how to be a peacemaker. Maybe this person's also upset you and you don't want to be the peacemaker, but you feel like you need to. Let's see what your guidance is in this. All right, one's gone flying. Yeah, you rule health. Virgos rule health. So my prayers for healing miracles have been heard and answered. So you have actually prayed for this situation to come about in a balanced, harmonious way. And it looks like it's going to, but you still need to, well, you may still feel you need to clear the air somehow, okay? Come open, emerge from that moon phase. Wow, there's another one. <laughs> blessings. So today I count my blessings small and large, and I notice the new gifts that come to me from God. So I just wanted to pick out one because I like to do that. All right, this is for Virgo. Okay, so mother, okay, so it's to do with a mother, it could be a mother of your children, could be your own mother, it might be your own mother, you know, that you're having these issues with, that you need to clear the air with, um, but there's a mother involved here. So I open my heart to my mother's humanness and her divinity, that's obviously your own mother, um, seeking out to clear the air of some sort, there's some negative stuff that's come up regarding the mother issue, um, or it could be a mother in your life. It could be um, a partner, it could be a mother of your child, that kind of thing. All right. Or you could be your mother yourself. All right. If you're watching this. So it's just about mother issues as well. 
So I hope that's helped you guys. Hi, Libra. We're going to have a look at the planetary influences for you. What lessons you might need to learn right now. Libra. Okay, there's some uh, old wounds here to heal. Chiron, your healing power, empathy and ability to teach or learn remedies. So there's some old wounds. This is the wounded healer sometimes. Let's have a look at the house which it may be affecting for you right now. All right, this is how you view yourself. This is how you're seeing yourself to the world, okay? Some Librans are feeling a little shy, feeling a little bit wounded. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the star sign this may be associated with or the energy around you right now. Okay, it could be a Virgo you're dealing with. Okay, if it's a Virgo you're dealing with, um, this is saying that perhaps you've been wounded by a Virgo. Okay, maybe there's been some words or some some harsh reality or truths that have come through to you, which has made you kind of look in the mirror and go, "What? what's wrong with me? Like, this is just going to resonate with some of you, not all of you. Okay, if they're not a Virgo, they might have a very strong Virgo in their chart somewhere. But, you know, this is the kind of energy that I'm seeing here but also it doesn't necessarily mean this person has to be a Virgo what this energy is telling me is that there's something that you are very much um being like almost like an obsessed you're obsessed with it you're obsessed with it because Virgos will stay very stick very hard to a task okay they stick very hard to a task they're dutiful um also it's um this perfection to make something like perfectly right and it feels to me that some Librans are really focused on the perfection of themselves, okay? And they're, they're seeing that they're not perfect. They're feeling wounded by not being perfect. Maybe they've been rejected in, the, in their childhoods as well. Maybe somebody made fun of how they looked. Maybe somebody really put them down in some way or, or made them question what's wrong with me. So this is what's really going on. I feel like Librans are very tough in a lot of ways, but they also can be extremely sensitive. I mean, they are the peacemakers. You guys are the peacemakers, right? You don't want to see uh, conflict in a relationship. And so if something is done to you or said to you, you will take it extremely personally because you don't necessarily um, lash out at people. And, you know, I'm not saying you're all the same. Some of you can do that, but... I feel like the majority of you, being the peacemakers, look for balance and harmony in relationships rather than conflict. And so this person or this situation is really calling for you right now to really take a look within yourself, an internal look, really look within and analyze because that's what Virgo is about. I mean, that's what you're probably doing is analyzing, but you're analyzing in a negative way. What we want you to do is to um, to analyze yourself and your wounds okay and to see how you can bring that up because something's triggered you guys to start questioning your own worth okay on how you appear to the world and that's just ridiculous in the bigger scheme of things but this is what's happening so let's have a look at what you need to surrender liberance surrender to success you are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. So it's about that you are looking into the mirror, but you're also looking into the past. You're looking and feeling like that trigger, that pain that somebody else has told you or, or made you believe about yourself in the past. Let me see. Surrender to divine timing. So sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. So you might be a person who's doing lots of affirmations and not seeing much come about. Okay, You might have gotten so far and then started to doubt yourself You know, because this is a very hard working energy here the Virgo they are very um, diligent they keep to the task 
and but they're, they're their own worst enemies as well, okay? They can be very self-critical, critical of others. And this is what I'm seeing here is a cynical kind of energy going on through the Virgo energy coming through to the Librans. Now let's have a look at what Queen of Angels would like to guide Librans with right now. Right, uh, one fell out, fell out. Well, we got mother issues or energies, okay? So I open my heart to my mother's humanness and her divinity. There might be an issue with the mother or if you're a mother yourself, okay? There's some issue with the mother in your life right now which is triggering this, um, this self-conscious kind of stuff going on here, all right? Yeah, it's all about integrity, Okay, so I trust my ability to know what is true for me. So not believing in what maybe your own mother had said to you growing up, all right, in your childhood. Not believing other people's opinions of you, okay? Um, that things will happen in your own divine timing. And nobody else has the, has the um, you know, nobody else. There can be so many people that can just put it out there and be really nasty to you or make you doubt yourself or... And really, it comes back to a mother issue, but somebody in your life recently has, and it could be your own mother, um, has triggered something within that has made you question your own self and how you appear to the world. Now, this could be that you are a mother or a parent, and it's about how your parenting is um, happening. You know, it's how are people seeing you parent your children or something like that along those lines. That could be an issue for some people. All right, so I hope that's helped you. Hi Scorpio, so let's have a look at your planetary influences here right now, or what major lessons you might need to learn right now. Right, we're looking at Jupiter. So your confidence, courage, self-belief and luck. This is gorgeous. The leap of faith I see with this. And what house may this be affecting right now? Wow, the 10th house. This is coming up a lot in this readings. So your achievements and status in the world. This is how you... Um, see yourself with your achievements in your world. This is amazing. So it could be your career path, um, your spiritual higher purpose, your mission. Um, this is looking really good so far. So what significant person could these be around as well around you? And what or what energies is this around with a star sign for you? Oh, goodness me. They've all fallen. Hang on a moment. Scorpio. Well, we've got Taurus. So some of you may have a Taurus that you're dealing with, or this may just be the energy that we're talking about around this as well. So it says the energy around you shows the abundance of nature. It is rich, earthy and productive, yet relaxed and slow. Now, this is awesome because I'm feeling this is more, well, it could be a Taurus around you, but I'm feeling also this is very much the energy that you've come into. You're in a really good place within yourself right now to manifest what it is that you want to and need to in your life regarding abundance and success with your achievements, with your career, with your money, you know, your possessions, that kind of thing. Um, it's looking amazing. So some of you may actually get to a point where you think, okay, I need to now do something with my money. I'm going to invest in something. I'm going to change career paths perhaps not so much change but like branching out into something else okay so you've already got that solid foundation you've grown so much into this but now you're going to expand is the word I'm trying to say expand so let's see what you might need to surrender at this stage Scorpio Look at this. 
is surrender to play. Maybe you've been too hard working. It's about taking a break from overthinking a goal. See, this is the goal right here. Do something fun. Play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation. It's time to take some time off for yourself. Take a break. Go and enjoy life, you know. Play. You know, even go and see a play. Go and do something. I feel like for you guys, it's probably being active as well, being able to just maybe, you know, look. when I see this, I think of skydiving. <laughs> I think it, you'd probably call that base jumping or something. But, <laughs> but you know, it's, it's probably not that extreme for you guys. But what I'm seeing is you still need to go out there and just play, have some fun. Um, you've been working so hard on this and you've done amazing with your with your goal, your achievements here, it's now time to play um, and just take a break, go on a holiday, do something fun for yourselves. The B in this card represents creativity, okay, and the peace lily as well, I think it is. Well, it may not be, but I think it is. Um, so it's about sh having peace through creative time as well, in nature even. All right, this is your guidance from the Queen of Angels. Being patient, because even though you've achieved so much, you guys want to keep working harder. So it says, I trust in divine timing. Trust in divine timing for perhaps a house to sell or a house to be bought or whatever it is that you're doing. Just trust that divine timing is coming in. And while you're waiting for the next step, Surrender to play. Okay, guys, I hope that's helped you. Hello, Sagittarius. Let's have a look for you guys. What planetary influence or major lessons going on for you right now? We just had the full moon in Saggy. Wow, guys. Wounded. Uh, the wounded healer. So it's the old wounds. Your healing power, empathy and ability to learn or teach remedies. Let's have a look at the influence of this. Um, I mean the house this is influencing right now for you. Okay, it's influencing your third house right now, guys. Your potential to learn something in your local neighborhood. There's something going on regarding this. I just want to have a look at this in a moment. Let's have a look if there's any significant star sign or somebody with a star sign in your life. Or it might be the energies coming around this right now. Wow, you've got your own star sign here. So this is either another Sagittarius that you're dealing with or this is just very much coming into your own power. You're in your own zone. You're in your own element. Okay, so this energy imbues power, superior confidence and enthusiasm with faith, good fortune and authority. So I feel like some of you are really going to delegate. That is the word I'm getting through with this third house, with communication, with study, perhaps researching or looking at your resources around your local neighborhood to help you heal from a situation. This may be legal, guys, and this is what I'm seeing. It could be legal. There might be issues with um, cars. I'm getting mechanics for some reason. So because it's local travel as well, there can be some issues around, um, oh, what is it I'm seeing? I'm seeing that some of you might be having issues with the car. It could be um, just uh, electronics. It could be any kind of technology going, you know, the technical kind of stuff going on here. So it could be your computer, could be phones, that kind of thing could be playing up for some of you right now. But you're being advised to keep the faith, move through all this stuff because it feels like there's a lot that can go wrong around your immediate um, environment right now. But what I also see with this is that there is help outside in the local community and that you're in, you are encouraged to reach out to those in your local community. It could be counsellors as well, not just people who can fix cars and computers and stuff. <laughs> so that's what I'm seeing there. It's so weird. Um, 
What else is coming through with that? I'm just going to tune into it a bit more. Some of you are going to be looking at taking up some study in, uh, what am I seeing there? Definitely psychology of some sort. So it could be counselling. There's definitely something that some of you are going to be looking at um, regarding grief counselling, whether you're going to that or you could be looking at taking it up in your local community. There might be some... Um, I don't know why I'm getting the library. I feel like some of you are going there and perhaps looking up resources or materials for something along those lines um, to learn. It could be a short course, even though I know those kinds of things don't take um, a short time to learn, but there's something that you're wanting to do very, like you don't really want to spend a whole lot of time on it. I can't see Saji's really wanting to sit down and do it for too long, um, but there's definitely that interest coming up. So let's have a look at the surrender cards. Oh, and I don't know why, but I'm getting a vet. So some people might want to be a vet, animal carers or something. All right, so let's have a look at surrender. Surrender to effortlessness, see? Because Sagis don't want to put the effort in right now. So it says stop pushing so hard, okay. Well, they don't want to put the effort in, but they are pushing hard. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. Some of you are trying to force this river. Okay, so Sagis. And some of you, I'm hearing it's time to get a new phone. Time to get a new phone. What else do you need to surrender? Surrender to your soul's path. What did I say about studying something that's worth it? You know, for you guys, it's going to mean something. Your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson, every challenge, and every moment. Now, what does the Queen of Angels have to say about this? What are you guided to do, guys? What's it about? Oh, you've got to look after your health. You're stressing yourselves out too much over past shit, right? My prayers for healing miracles have been heard and answered. So this stuff, whatever it is that's going on, these new challenges that are coming up are stressing you out to the max because it feels to me like you've had a buildup of a lot of shit going on in your past and there's time now for something to clear, but you can do it in a very good way. Like you can do it by surrendering to your soul's path. The old pain can help us it can help us it's a it's a, a teacher pain is our teacher in life and i feel like it's going to help you to help others as well okay guys so i hope that's helped you hi capricorn i'm going to look at your planetary influences right now perhaps what major lesson you may need to learn this is for caps Wow, Chiron. Okay, your healing power, empathy, and ability to teach or learn remedies. A lot of people are getting these in these uh, star signs. Now let's have a look at your house, which may be influenced by... Oh my God, they're all flying down. Let's see the house that it may be influencing at this stage for you. Wow, it's the eighth house. Okay, this is interesting because this is a death rebirth um, section. This is like the transformational area of your life. It's about shared resources and intense emotions. Wow, okay, we're going to have a look at that further and we're going to see who this might have something to do with regarding another star sign or if it's not that specifically, um, it can be the energy you're coming into right now. But it makes sense, doesn't it, with this Chiron, yeah. All right, we've got a Pisces here, guys. So it could have something to do with somebody who is a Pisces significantly in your life. There might be some pain associated and some transformation 
perhaps some healing going on right now with the Pisces, or it could definitely be this energy coming in right now. So this energy is wistful, endlessly loving, compassionate, and forgiving. So it could be forgiveness, okay, coming through. It confuses and softens resolve. So let's have a look at this. So the house of transformation right now, right here. So this has really got something to do with, I feel, another person. It could be um, somebody who's very close to you and your family. could be a spouse. could be um, could have been a love relationship. There's definitely been some pain associated with this person and there's a need for forgiveness and healing in this, okay? Um, it feels to me that some of you are coming into this forgiving energy, um, like you do love this person, like not maybe not unconditionally but you do love this person and there is compassion there um it so it shows me that there is this need to forgive somebody from the past okay or it may be bringing some past issues up for you let's have a look at what you need to surrender right now capricorn because there's something you felt very deeply Surrender fear, okay? A lot of you are, have experienced something extremely um, painful in your childhood, especially, um, and it's been brought through to your adult years. It says, let go of the fearful stories you are telling yourself. Stay in the moment. Focus on solutions and celebrate every... Sorry, guys, my phone cut out. So it says, let go of the fearful stories you are telling yourself stay in the moment focus on solutions and celebrate every baby step forward so there's a lot of stuff going on it's like the inner child still repeats the patterns of the past or the pain from the past and it's about being able to surrender this being really gentle with yourself at this time being able to go with the flow of things rather than resist because capricorns are very good at digging their heels in right um and resisting things that they don't want to do they resist change so it's just about doing being able to surrender fear okay let's see what the queen of angels card is for you guys at this time what guidance is given to you well what is this around Oh, look at this devotion. So as I fully commit to my values, relationships and God, I am clear about what to do next. So it's just about being able to devote yourself to this path of transition, this path of healing, okay, to be able to move forward into where you want to be in life. Um, it could be relationship. There could be some heartbreak here for some of you going through a separation or a breakup that kind of thing as well and it's just about putting yourself first okay guys so i hope that's helped you hi aquarius we're gonna have a look at your planetary influences right now or perhaps a major lesson you may need to learn at this time Wow, we got the sun, guys. Your immortal spirit, purpose, and destiny is involved. This is beautiful. This is just a beautiful um, energy right here. It's very positive. But something's being illuminated, I feel, for you guys at the moment. What area is this around for you? What is this going to affect? What house? Wow, the ninth house, broadening your horizons, either spiritually, academically, or on a long journey. This is beautiful. Look at this Buddha. Oh my God, it's just beautiful energy. You guys, I feel, are coming into your own power at the moment. Like, it's just feeling really good. Let's have a look if there's a specific person that's got a star sign around you that's significant, or perhaps just the energy of a star sign.
Wow, guys, this is cancer energy. This is beautiful. This is about the family and about the home. So this energy is emotional, sensitive, caring, and loving. It may concern family, a mother, or a child. So you could be a parent. You might have children. Um, it may be that you work with children because we are looking also, well, I want to say a very spiritual connection with family. There's like a soul tribe thing going on here. Because it is very spiritual. We're looking at this spiritual card. You're broadening yourself, um, your horizons. You're broadening the spiritual journey, okay? Even academically, it says. So some of you might actually really be fulfilling a life purpose of working with children or families. You could be working along the lines of raising children. You might be a foster parent. Um, if there's fur babies, it doesn't have to be human children. It could be fur babies as well for some of you. There's this definite need to nurture. Now, this is very, very interesting to me because Aquarians have always come across as non-maternal. Now, I'm not saying that Aquarians are not maternal because they definitely can be, but they also can be very detached and very cool and aloof when they want to be. So what I've gathered with this is that there is this energy coming in right now. It's being illuminated for Aquarians, that there is this higher purpose for them to become a mother. Some people, are, or even a parent, it doesn't have to be a mother. You might be a male watching this and think, well, I want to have children. It's just that maternal kind of energy coming through with the feminine side of the like the water sign you know coming in it could be that this um person is if you have a person in your life like a partner could be that they're a cancer um there's some destiny involved here there's some really amazing spiritual uh, mission i feel like a path for you to do with um, family and children so i really do feel like there is a very strong bond here between it could be a mother child um, situation it could be that you are taking care of things through a different avenue some of you are going to be finding that you really want to shine your light in the form of publishing something I can see writing I can see I can see um, like all these papers with all this typed up stuff on the papers right and it's, it's just like you've gone and um, printed out all this paperwork. So whether it be study or your own book or publishing or something, there's something along those lines here as well. Um, and it may be that you're actually writing your own story about your life, about, um, could be children's books that you're writing. You know, I'm seeing that kind of thing here as well. I'm feeling that you really have a very strong spiritual life purpose being brought about right now regarding the family emotions and children here so this is very interesting to me let's have a look at what you need to surrender right now okay surrender stress before I go into this I'm getting other messages that are coming through regarding your own parent connection here okay guys it could be with a cancer um, if not it's just showing me this connection between the mother child bond maybe some of you have had significant um, issues with a mother okay that you need to heal it may be that some of you have a mother that has um that is in heaven you know that is in the heavenly realms and that you're making connections with them right now um it's yeah it's just really strong coming through here i've got take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body let the stress go as you come back to your center some of you are very stressed out about your spiritual purpose in life some of you are wondering if you're even going to have children you know this is something that's coming up for some of you here let me have a look at your guidance card from Queen of the Angels, Aquarius. <clears throat> signs I watch for, notice and trust the signs that heaven continually sends. This is your loved ones in spirit coming through and leaving you signs to help you upon 
you know, to help you get onto the path that you need to get onto. What is your life purpose, your life mission, that kind of thing? And prayer always helps, guys. So instead of worrying, see, surrender stress, I pray about this situation to bring, to bring about real solutions. It looks to me like there is some issues around the home, family, okay? There, there can be some of that going on and some of you want to branch out and you want this healed already, you just want to move on. Some of you are feeling like you're already kind of uh, moving on from this now spiritually and, yeah, you've got other things you need to do in your life. You don't want to be um, kind of brought down to this drama, negative-filled kind of negative-fueled uh, level here. Okay, so I hope that's helped you guys. Okay, this is Pisces. Let's have a look at your planetary influences right now or perhaps a, a major lesson you need to perhaps look at right now in your life. All right, Jupiter, your confidence, courage, self-belief and luck. This is beautiful. It's like that leap of faith I said before in another reading. Let's have a look at the house this may be affecting right now for you. Pisces. Wow, this is the 11th house where the cosmos grants wishes, luck, friends and social occasions now this is just gorgeous there is so much of a social aspect here for you guys and it's about your confidence and your wishes coming true luck has come up twice here so you are in a very good zone feels like you're in a very good place right now let's have a look at the star sign of anyone significant around you that this may be uh, influencing or it could be energies coming in from this star sign around you Pisces. So we've got an Aries. So this could be someone who's significant to you in your life. Okay. Um, the en energy around you is dynamic and spontaneous. Crusading and impulsive action is likely. This is amazing. Like I'm also seeing the real fiery kind of energy here as well with Jupiter. But it's just amazing because it looks to me like you're coming into this absolute confidence. You're really shining your light. You've got the universe backing you. It's about moving moving forward really uh, strong now in your life. It's about taking the lead because that's what Aries is all about. And it's about taking action. So you are having the uh, universe pretty much grant your wishes to you. Your affirmations are coming true for you now. This is the time where it's very strong, where you believe in yourself. The Aries is the ego. It is the I am. So it is very much about your physical realm. It's about the passion, the boldness to move forward. This is just brilliant. Now let's have a look at what you may need to surrender though around this time. Because as we know, <clears throat> so I was going to say, as we know, not everything is always, you know, perfect. But I feel like for you guys, it's 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 uh, it's getting there. So because these amazing things are happening, with this comes change. But it is good change. But sometimes change can be very unpleasant. Okay, because your affirmations, the universe are bringing in all the things that you want. You're being asked to take that leap of faith to just jump into the uh, abyss, into the no unknown, basically. And it's 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 uh, showing us that it's very spontaneous kind of energy, which some of you may or may not necessarily, you know, like. You might be okay with it. Some of you might not like it. Surrender your fear of change. So the universe is reminding you that you are cared for always, whether you're afraid of a change in your job, your health or a relationship, or if you're fear or if you fear aging or death, repeat the affirmation, I have faith that all is well. And let's see what your Queen of Angel card is here uh, for Pisces.
Okay, so it's asking you to have patience. So while this is all happening around you and there are changes and there are things coming in and it's amazing and you are taking action, it says that impulsive action is likely, which is great. It's the jump in, right? It's the leap of faith. But it's saying, I trust in divine timing. So some things are coming to you. Like your wishes are definitely being granted right now. And I feel like it is because you have done the hard work of putting in all of this stuff through your confidence and courage right? But sometimes it takes a little bit longer to wait for certain things to come around. Um, and you're just being reminded, you already know this, but you're being reminded to be patient in the time, in the divine timing. Um, everything will be happening as it's meant to, when it's meant to. And, uh, yeah, I just, I really feel like, you know, the 11th and the Aries, like the Aries is the number one. We've got the 11. So we've got one, 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 which is pretty cool, guys. So I'm seeing that that is also asking you to remain positive. So I hope that's helped you. And I look forward to connecting with you next time. Love and blessings. Mm -hmm.